Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading and it'll focus on what's going on in your connection, how they feel about you, what are their true intentions, and what is the potential outcome for the near future. So let's get into it. For Pisces spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Regarding love. As always, this is going to be a general love reading Pisces, so it will not resonate with every single Pisces watching, so just keep that in mind. What messages do you have for Pisces? That one flipped over. Okay, we got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Sometimes I read this card as there's not an uh, equal give and take. Maybe someone doesn't put in the same amount of effort. We'll see. Anything else for Pisces? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, so this is almost like one person knows how they feel and maybe the other person they're not sure. Or perhaps someone needs to express how they feel in order to get this moving. Because until that happens, this won't go anywhere. I'm also picking up, it's almost like maybe the other person, Pisces, doesn't know how you feel. I feel like this is you that needs to express your love. We'll see. What do we need to know about this? What is going on for Pisces in love? What messages do you have for Pisces in love? What messages do you have for Pisces and love spirit? Messages for Pisces. The sun reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles reverse. One more. The high font, Taurus energy. I feel like someone has been hiding something or keeping something hidden. This four of pentacles reverse is almost like they need to let that go. I feel like this is in relate in relate in relation. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot English there for a second. I feel like this is related to some something to do with a commitment. You could be um, involved with an earth sign here. I have a lot of earth so far. Let's see. Clarify these energies, please. Pisces. The sun reverse could also mean, um, you know, a lot, uh, someone that's unhappy, disappointed, but I'm picking up more like something that is hidden, clouded, not clear. Tell me about the sun reverse. Page of cups reverse. Heartbreak, disappointment. So this could be disappointment or let's see. Tell me about the sun reverse. For Pisces. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is disappointment because someone wasn't putting in any effort into a connection or perhaps you haven't been offered commitment by someone or there's been some sort of loss when it comes to love here, Pisces. I feel like um, you want to fix things, but maybe the other person isn't putting in as much effort. Or perhaps you are just disappointed the way that love has um, kind of unfolded for you. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. What is this about? I feel like you're very giving to this connection. Maybe you've been very um, generous with your time, your energy. King of Swords, why is this Queen of Pentacles here for Pisces? I keep wanting to say uh, cancer, 
Some of you could be dealing with a cancer or have cancer in your chart. King of Swords, Four of Swords. So again, this could be you wanting to communicate in order to heal something, or perhaps this is someone that's really thinking about a conversation they need to have. Four of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. I feel like this conversation has something to do with baggage or a burden on this connection, perhaps because someone has been avoiding a certain uh, situation or has been deceptive in some way. Again, hiding something. And I feel like it has to do with a commitment, once again. Something to do with maybe um, a home life or moving or a family situation. There's, there's some sort of baggage there. And it's almost like someone is trying to be like sneaky about this. About responsibilities, about obligations, about a burden on this connection. Maybe someone is uh, stepping outside of a commitment because it, you know, the commitment is probably, there's a lot of responsibilities or obligations there. Um, because I do have the higher font here. And there's, you know, this is what's going on for you in love. So it could be you, your energy here, or someone else that you're dealing with. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, I feel like this is a family situation um, with the Ten of Cups here. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Two of Pentacles reverse. I'm not going to take that, but I have Justice here, Libra energy. So I feel like this this is something to do with like someone that's been um, juggling here, juggling a lot. I don't think it's really um, worked out for them. For some reason, it's almost like whatever they've been juggling, something has to give with this Four of Pentacles reverse. Something. One of these pentacles has to drop. <clears throat> and I feel like that's required in, in order to make something right. Or this could be a situation where there needs to be balance for if wands, justice. Four wands can signify stability. I feel like whatever burden or obligation this is here with the ten of wands... I feel like it's caused some sort of disruption. There's not a, as much balance or there's an imbalance here. Tell me more about justice. Emperor reverse Aries energy. Emperor reverse, typically someone difficult to deal with, someone that is not able to restore balance. So I think that's kind of ironic. Typically, things are out of their control. They feel powerless, helpless. So it's like someone feels powerless or helpless to make something right, or they feel powerless to make a final decision of some sort. Maybe they're waiting for something with the Three of Wands. And this could be you or your person. But I feel like there's someone that's kind of juggling um, some sort of family responsibility or some sort of commitment. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? The High Priestess reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. So something's coming to light here. with this higher font. Someone's speaking up, maybe making some sort of choice, or, or perhaps they made a mistake. They chose the wrong option. Why is the higher font here? Knight of Swords reverse. Some sort of deception or something hidden is coming to the surface here. I feel like someone made a bad choice. Yeah, and things didn't work out for them. 
I feel like someone wasn't fair in this situation, maybe because there was something else, some sort of burden. I feel like this burden is a serious problem. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Why is this? Why is this Ten of Wands here? For Pisces. There's resistance or someone's It's almost like someone has blocked communication or the communication is just not perhaps this is someone that wants to Interesting. It's almost like they don't want to talk about something. Tell me if this is resonating for you, Cancer. Not Cancer, Pisces. I keep wanting to say Cancer. Tell me if this is resonating for you, but I feel like this is someone that, it's like they don't wanna talk about something or they avoid certain uh, conversation here. Ooh, this could be because of a third party. There could be um, something to do here with like someone not wanting to have a certain conversation or is being deceptive because of some sort of interference. So let's see, how does this person think or feel about you? I'm gonna use my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is available now in my shop. So let's see. How is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces spirit? I have a choice to make. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces? I have a lot on my plate, exactly. This person, there's a burden here. Responsibilities, obligations. I want to see you at the bottom of the deck. And it's like they wanna kind of toe the line here, do both. Deal with this responsibility or burden. Um, and they know they have to make a choice, but at the same time, they still want to see you. They still want to be involved with you in some way. Which is very interesting. Spirit, tell us more. Tell us more. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces? Oops. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling? When it comes to Pisces, please. Really thinking and feeling the moon reverse there you are Pisces four of wands this moon reverse is like the high priestess reverse and ten of cups reverse again with like the unhappiness or the family issue something to do with family we have the four of wands here again this is a whole new deck why is the moon reverse so this person wants to reveal something or has something that it's like something's coming to the surface about this person Perhaps I need to reveal something to you, Pisces. Why is the moon reverse here? Death card, Scorpio energy. Why is the moon reverse? Something to do about an ending or some sort of change. The full reverse, all major arcana is here. Interesting. Justice, wow all major arcanas and we have the queen of pentacles reversed behind that seven of pentacles i feel like with this death card and the full reverse this is someone that is um ending something but unable to start something new or perhaps something needs to end in order for someone to have a new beginning here i feel like something's coming to the surface about something that ended in the past or something that has to end 
I feel like with the full reverse, it's almost like they haven't started this process at all. I hope they haven't told you this. This could be regarding a divorce or a separation with justice and the death card, but it's almost like they haven't even started. They haven't been able to start this ending or this change. And I feel like for some reason, you don't know this Pisces. This could be you also. Maybe you're prevented from ending a situation that has to end. Tell me about the Four of Wands. And I feel like when this person think, thinks about you or the connection, they're thinking about this. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Eight of Wands, reverse. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Higher font reverse, Taurus energy, again, at the higher font here. I'm telling you, somebody here is in a commitment that, I feel like a commitment is a block. Page of Pentacles reverse, they can't even give you something small. They can't even make the smallest offer here with the Page of Pentacles reverse. It's almost like um, then there's no progress with the Eight of Wands reverse. Perhaps there's little communication as well. And I feel like this has to do with home. Either where someone lives or the, who they live with or something like that. It could be that someone hasn't expressed their love or they haven't expressed how they feel because... This is a situation that's kind of in the way. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse for Pisces. Some of you are definitely dealing with a cancer. I I mean, I have not been able to stop thinking about a can cancer since I started this, this reading. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. Five of Swords reverse. Something to do with like verbal conflict or something like that. Three of Wands again. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is about like waiting to make a choice. Someone's like waiting to make a decision here with the Two of Wands and Three of Wands. And it's about like some sort of family issue. And then I have the Seven of Swords reverse. So again, there's something that's not right here. There's an illusion that's coming to the surface. There's like confusion also because of this. Emperor reverse again, devil, and there's the chariot. Lots of major arcanas here. Tell me about this three of wands and this two of wands. What's this about? Let me tell about this two of wands and three of wands. Fear, being stuck with the Eight of Swords. Can I get one more for this Two of Wands? Three of Wands. Someone I feel like is stalling. Stalling or hesitating. Temperance reverse, yeah. Sagittarius energy. This is someone that something's not coming together. Something's not taking place because more time is needed. Something's not beginning here with the Ace of Wands reverse. Someone's wrapped up in their fear. And I feel like they're using waiting and choices as a, as a, as an excuse. What are this person's intentions towards Pisces? What are this person's intentions towards Pisces spirit? What are their true intentions towards Pisces? What are their true intentions? Towards Pisces. Nightingale, this is all about speaking your truth or having something to say. This person has something to tell you. But with the tarantula, it's almost like warning, you know, it's like, you know, the tarantula is almost like stop and pay attention to something. So I feel like there's like a red flag here. And I don't know if you're aware of it, Pisces. But I feel like there's something here that, yeah, that you don't know. The raccoon. Someone's wearing a mask or appearing to do something or something's off. There's an illusion here. And I don't know if it's on purpose or if it's because of the way things have been, like, 
developing in this connection but I feel like this has been a very confusing connection there's not a lot of clarity and I don't know it's almost like it hasn't been able to really progress and I'm feeling like this express your love is almost like express the truth so what's the potential outcome here for Pisces and this other person and I apologize if I've said cancer because I, I feel like I want to say cancer so many times and I haven't recorded at all today I haven't done any other videos so I find it very interesting that I'm getting that energy so I'm gonna pick a few cards here for the potential outcome Pisces spirit tell me what are what is the potential outcome here for Pisces in the near future with this other person potential outcome for Pisces please The High Priestess Reverse, Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius Energy. Something is coming to the surface. This person, I feel either they're going to express something to you or tell you something that is shocking or surprising or some sort of revelation, or you're going to find something out. Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. Beautiful. So I feel like this is a very, um, this is a connection that is special or has a strong bond, but also has a lot of baggage. See what I'm seeing here? And I feel like this baggage or um, this weight is because of what is unsaid or what is unclear. I feel like there's more time needed to bring something into balance. More effort is needed to bring something into balance. I feel like there's something that's out of balance here. Either you both are not really being open with each other or one of you is not being open with the other, which is creating some sort of imbalance here. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if, you, if you'd like to support the channel. And I will see you all in another video, Pisces. Take care.